Hi, Arna here with a question from Julian from Instagram. And Julian wanted to know how to let go of negative thoughts if they're not his. So my question, Julian, is are you trying to what I call filter and transform other people's negative thoughts and energies? And actually, and I'm going to give you an example from the Native Americans. Um, I love to reference ancient traditions. There's so much wisdom in there. Now, I've studied before with the Native American medicine woman. And what they do in that culture is they actually physically take in other people's negative energy through their bodies to transform it. Now that is not a good idea because the truth is it makes you sick. And that is not your purpose in life. It's not to transform other people's negative energy. It's about what I call holding loving space for people who are in process, people who may be having what you call negative energy, but not trying to transform it or take it in. So the way you hold loving space, and this is really a key thing, you don't have to even talk sometime. What I'm doing right now is I'm going to demonstrate exactly a very effective way with someone who is undergoing negative energy. Here, you can watch this. Silence. That's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm being present. I'm holding space, but I am not going to take it in as my own. That's not my role. Now I'm going to show you something else. I'm going to take my hands right here, right on my solar plexus, and the solar plexus is our personal power. It is an actual entry point to receive negative energy. I choose to cover this area. So if you're speaking with someone and around negative energy, I encourage you to shut off the solar plexus, but yet you can have an open heart and have what I call empathetic listening and be there for someone in silence or what I call reflective listening and the way that works is let the person know that you hear them and basically take what they've said and rephrase it. So what you would say to them is, I hear what you're saying, let me get clarity. Is this what you mean? And by doing that, the person feels heard. And the truth is, holding loving space and allowing a person to feel heard can be the most effective. But no, it is not your job, Julian, to take in somebody else's negative energy. And if you are, you are allowing it. And I encourage you to be conscious to block that because that will not be healthy for you.